Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Amanda. And we are serving up all that jam. All that jam, quick hit. Mike Chiavaro on Put It Down. You got a new single out. You have a project King Canyon and the connection between the two is Otis McDonald. So I was hoping we could jump in and how you and he became uh, a great rhythm section. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Um, Otis McDonald is uh, a good friend of mine. His real name is Joe Bagal. We met when we were 17 years old. Um, actually through the New York All-State Jazz Program. So um, there's this thing in New York State called NISMA. It's basically like a statewide music competition. And, you know, you you audition a song and you get a rating. And if you do well in the ratings, you get sent to these, these programs. And uh, Joe was the drummer that got chosen for the All-State Jazz Band that year. Uh, and I was the bass player that was chosen. So Joe was from Rochester and I was from Long Island. And we met at this conference in Rochester at the Eastman School of Music. And yeah, we were the rhythm section for this vocal jazz band. And yeah, we met there. We became fast friends. We, he was the one that told me about Eastman School of Music and said, hey, you should go to this college. You should apply there. And so I ended up applying to the Eastman School of Music, getting in. And then Joe and I both ended up going there for a year. He left a little bit after that and moved to San Francisco to start his, his full-time music career. But yeah, we met when we were 17. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. And then before uh, I know that you worked, you've worked with Eric Krasno, you have the new thing with, with John Patitucci. What did you guys do before that? Because that's all pretty recent, more recent stuff, right? Yeah. So let's see, it was about 2000. 2006 or 2007, Joe and I, uh, Otis McDonald, we started touring together. So we played with a guy named Bob America, we made a record with him and then toured all over the country. We played with this Czech artist named Lenka Dusilova. We toured over the United States with her and went to the Czech Republic for five weeks, toured with her. We played with a guy named James Harry's. We were always just kind of like backing up other bands as a rhythm section and doing a bunch of tours and doing a bunch of sessions. And um, yeah, we just stayed connected through that. And yeah, we kind of just never stopped playing. Great. Fantastic. So let's talk about the new one. The, yeah. you, the two of you, the rhythm section decided to bring in someone else. You want to tell us a little bit about how that came about? It's called um, Put It Down. I believe yeah, that's right. Uh, so that's with Otis McDonald, myself, and uh, the legendary bass player, John Petitucci, who, uh, you know, made his name playing with Chick Corea and Wayne Shorter and all kinds of legends. Yeah, so I, I mentioned earlier, I moved to Hastings on Hudson in 2020. And when I moved here, I had some friends that lived in the area that were musicians that said, that told me that John Petitucci lived in this town and I like literally didn't believe them. Right. I was like, there's no way that like one of the best bass players in the world lives in the town that I just moved to. And, you know, to back up, he was always like my guy, John Petitucci. Like when I started playing bass, he was like who I looked up to. So the whole idea of him living in the same town as me just seemed not possible. So anyway, I had heard that and like, literally a year and a half or two years went by and never seen the guy or anything. And then one day I'm walking with my, my son, Henry and we're walking home and he sees a garage sale. There's a garage sale happening on the street. We're walking down and he's like, dad, can we stop at the garage sale? And I'm like, ah, let's just go home. Like, I don't really feel like walking through a garage sale with an eight year old who's going to want to buy everything. And, you know, anyway, he convinces me to, take him up there. So we're walking up the driveway. And as we're walking up the driveway, I see John Petitucci standing there. He's running the garage sale. It's his house. There's no one at the garage sale except for him. And so I was like, no way. <laughs> it's such a bizarre way to meet this guy. And so, you know, I tried to play it cool and not 
let him know that I knew who he was. But then before we left, I just couldn't keep it in and, you know, said, I, I think you look familiar, you know, and just started, struck up a conversation and he was amazing. He was like super nice. He gave me a, a really nice reverb pedal too. He's like, Oh, you're a bass player. Like, do you need anything? Went inside the house. He's like pulling, bringing out, you know, bass stuff. And anyway, right before I left, um, he said to me, by the way, do you know anything about YouTube? I just started a YouTube channel and I like, I don't know what I'm doing and I work for YouTube. So it was just a strange thing. I was like, well, yeah, I, I can totally help you. We should figure something out. So we exchanged information. And then about a week later, we met. I went over to his house and we we just worked on his YouTube channel. So I had just curated a bunch of, you know, videos that featured him. And we just redid his entire channel. And then, you know, that slowly turned into like, oh, like bring your bass over or like, why don't you come over and hang out and we'll listen to music or whatever. And so we just started hanging. And like talking about music that we liked. And at the time, I remember thinking like it, it would be really fun to play with him. But I don't know how that like I, I don't want to bother him first off, you know, and I don't know what we would do because we're both bass players. And so anyway, some time went by and then Otis McDonald, my friend Joe was in town and I started thinking, you know, it'd be cool to do something with like two basses and drums And so I, you know, mentioned it to Joe and then, you know, a couple days later we were over at John's house, hanging out, listening to music, doing YouTube stuff. And then, yeah, it just turned into like, Hey, you should come over on Friday and bring your bass and we'll see, see what happens. And so, yeah, that happened. He just came over. We started playing over like a few drum loops that, that Otis had on his laptop. And we just kind of came up with a bunch of stuff. We wrote, put it down, had a couple different sections and then Joe, after that session brought brought the track back to San Francisco, added real drums to it. And then we started talking about horns and adding horns. We had, you know, had some friends that played horns, asked them to come in and write some stuff, did that. And then before we knew it, we just had this finished track and we were like, this is crazy. What should we do with this? <laughs> you know, and we talked to John. He was really into it. He was like, I think we should put it out. So we did. We put it out um, just Friday, last Friday, September 15th. It's it's very interesting. The, I can think of two things off the top of my head that have double bass. Dump Stefunk has mm-hmm. two bass players, and Coltrane's Africa Brass had two bass yeah. players on it. Right. Um, so uh, is there going to be an album? Is there more? I, I, I mean, there will be more. I don't know what that means, but I, I think we all had a, a really fun experience doing it, and we've certainly been talking about, like, what – what comes next? You know, do we want to do another track? Do we want to do another album? So right now we're just in the ex- exploration phase, I would say. We're tossing around ideas. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but we feel good about it. If you are enjoying All That Jam, please like and subscribe to our social media channels at All That Jam Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our website, allthatjampod.com. Make sure to sign up for our email list and tune in every week for new episodes. Also, look for full interviews on our YouTube channel. And remember, stay beautiful, but don't stay underground too long.